Hello everyone, welcome to eClassopedia. I am Ruchi Gurk, physics tutor in eClassopedia. This is an online tutoring platform. We cover all subjects in international K-12 curriculum, including IGCSE, IB, Cambridge, US, UK, GCSE, Edixel, Singapore. And we also coach for competitive exams like Olympiad, university entrance exams, and many others. We have students from 50 plus countries, including US, UK, Asia. Now let us study a small concept about gravitation. So what I'll do, I'll share my screen and we'll check out this concept. Hope my screen is visible to you. So what is gravity? Gravity is an attractive force by the earth, either on living or non-living object or a body. If suppose we throw a object from a building, it will fall down. It will not go in any other direction. If we throw a ball in upper direction, it will fall down. It is due to gravity. So we can say that gravity is an attractive force. So it is an attractive force. Who pulls it? Who does it? It is by the earth, either on living or non-living object or a body. Now here the question is, who told us about the gravity? In 1665 in England, there was a 23-year-old man. He was sitting under a tree and apples fall on his head. This event was normal, but this man was genius. He was none other than Isaac Newton. He think that why this apple fell down, not in any other direction. So over here, he gave us the universal law of gravitation. He told that force exerted on us is continuously. And now uh, let us check what is universal law of gravitation. Suppose here we have two objects is of mass m1 and m2 and distance between them is d and force acting is f and small f suppose so we'll say that suppose this is object a and this is object b object a is having mass m1 object b is having mass m2 and distance between them is small d force over here will be f1 force acting here we can say f and over here we can say small f. So what does the Newton's law of universal gravitation states? It states that every particle attract each other particle. Each particle is going to attract other particle in the universe with the force. Force is directly proportional to product of masses. So we will write that force fg that is gravitational force is directly proportional to product of masses. Masses over here is M1 and M2. And over here we see that it is inversely proportional to square of distance between them. So we can again write gravitational force is inversely proportional to square of distance. between them. So combining these two, what we get? M1, M2, by D square. Now here we have sign of proportionality. To remove sign of proportionality, we will substitute over here gravitational constant. So we check out again. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every particle attract each other particle in universe with a force that is directly proportional to product of masses, inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. Suppose now if the force on M1 is 100 Newton, then the force on M2 will be 100 Newton again. So 
So we'll check out over here. So we can see that two objects, they are going to attract each other. Force between both objects are same. Action and reaction pair is over there. Such pairs have same value, but in opposite direction. Forces acting along the line joining the center of the both objects. So these forces are sometimes called gravitational force. Now, if we have to find value of F, we can find out F is equal to G M1 M2 by D squared. G is the constant and its value is 6.673 into 10 raised to power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. So here we have MCQs. We have an objective type questions over here. So if you know the answers of this, so please type in the uh, chat box. So these are over questions over here. So registrations are open for this course for further inquiry or assistance is if you feel please free to get in touch with our team and at this number plus 9198213733362. And also you can register for this session through www.eclassopedia.com and link given in the description box. Thank you.